cops on me. And uh, you know, I want to make sure they know I'm not running, about not recording. They didn't ask me to leave. So I called the cops on me because I was recording, right? I noticed they didn't have any plates. They you know, said, help me. I figured they need a meal. I'll go buy them a meal or something. You know what I'm saying? Ask them if they need help with anything. 26 audits. Thank you for tuning in. Notification. Bing, bing, bing. So on my video. Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? Fish Fam 326 audits here. I'm at the uh, Center Reach Library here to do a First Amendment audit um, and just make sure that they respect our rights to report, to record in public. And uh, so we're gonna head in a little bit, but first I wanna show you guys the outside of this building. This is a beautiful building. The, archi the architecture on this building is just amazing. If you've never been here, if you're ever in Long Island, come to Center Reach Library. Even the inside is beautiful. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a look at the library you know we are on long island and uh if you can see the siding here it's like a almost like a fish scale it almost looks like fish scales the um the siding on the building is beautiful and then the top kind of reminds me the top of the building kind of reminds me of a sail which is pretty cool and then you have all these I don't know if you if you you ever been on a ship before that we got these portholes on it. They got all these little portholes on the ceiling, which is pretty amazing. So yeah, guys, the architecture on this building is beautiful. Uh, they have some beautiful siding on it. They even have nice um, uh, they have nice like little walkways with gardens here. It's a beautiful library. Hello, you're good. You're good. No, you're fine. You're fine. Thank you. So, yeah, the architecture here is beautiful. They even have the trees decorated here beautifully, too. I mean, they did a great job with our tax, with our tax money on this library. Um, they even have, like, little things like this, dedicating it uh, to people. So this is Friends of the Middle Country Library donated this. This is pretty cool. It's like a little brass iron girl feeding, like, a little cat, which is awesome. It's pretty cool too, guys. So then they got this little tree right here in the background. It's like, a, well, I'll go inside so you guys can actually take a look at it. But yeah, guys, we're over here at the Middle Country Public Library in Center Reach. Make sure that they uh, respect our rights to record in public. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So we'll take a, round, a walk around the property just to, uh, um, you also got a, book material return and the, and the uh you know inside here where is our flag look at her so there goes old glory right there always want to take some time out to recognize our flag and and give a salute to our troops you know fighting all over the world to protect our you know protect our freedoms fighting for our freedoms so thank you to all our troops and um so let's take a look at some signage. So you have the book material return, the library. So we have hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 9 p.m., Saturday, 9.30 to 5 p.m., Sunday, September to May, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. On Sundays, uh, the library will be closed on New Year's Day, Easter Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and Sunday from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend. So there goes your hours for over here. So um, we'll go inside in a little bit. I just wanna show you guys outside uh, the property first. So if you need to return some books, you can uh, come over here and drive into the driveway and they have a, um, uh, a drop off here. Oh, they got a camera there too. Good to see that they're keeping the security out up here to keep everybody safe. And uh, this is a drop off. You kind of come in, you scan your books, and then you drop them off. Um, so let's take a walk around the uh, the property, guys. I want to show you guys um, a little bit of the outside of this building because it's just beautiful. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go over here to this tree um, that they actually have. They knitted like a quilt or a blanket or something on it.
so i don't know if you guys can see this but this is pretty cool they actually they actually like knitted this like a uh, net onto the tree which is pretty cool man they got the whole tree covered in it and it just gives it a nice a nice look as far as great artwork whoever thought about this it's pretty awesome you can see it goes all the way up and i don't think it affects the tree from growing at all it's a beautiful tree as you guys can see it's pretty awesome all right so we'll go around this side again the architecture on this uh, library is pretty cool. Looks like there's some kids in this back area, so I won't record the back area. I wanna, you know, at least uh, not put any kids on the video, and my goal is not to do that here today. It's just to make sure that people respect my right to um, record in public and any uh, public accessible areas. So look at that, guys. Beautiful library. So we'll come over this way. And I think this back area is like a little garden walk area that they have. go around the back see what they got going on over here so it looks like this is just a vendor parking shipping and receiving back here no parking, library truck only. So this looks like it's facilities parking only back here. Employee entrance, shipping and receiving, nine to five. So yeah, guys, this is the back of the library. Not interesting back here. Oh, United Way parking spot, July winter. That is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna ask them about that. United Way parking spot, July winter. Pretty cool, I guess you get a VIP parking. Probably one of the employees here. Another camera right there, guys. Recording in public. Okay, they also have a EV charging only station here, which is pretty cool. So if you have an electric car and uh, you want to come over to Centuries Library, um, new to Charge Point, get started, sign up in the Charge Point app tap your phone or charge point card below and boom you have your charge point you, you put it in you come over here and you can um you know come charge your vehicle here if you're going to come to the library to get anything or even if you want to just come over here to charge it's public accessible you can come over here to just do this if you want so there you go guys if you have an electric car come over here and charge your car so they have another electric charging station over here and just look at the look at the look at the um the siding on here guys i mean i love this library the architecture on it i can't say enough about it it's pretty cool it looks like it needs a power wash maybe i'll come over here and ask them if they need me to power wash it yeah look at that that's kind of dirty right there but yeah so they have another electric car charging station here so if you want to come they have two of them they have one there one here Again, guys, a beautiful library. It's beautiful. Blood shortage. Oh, you guys want to give blood? You become blood. Give some blood to save a life. So August 2nd, oh, I think I might have to come here on August 2nd. From 1 to 7 p.m., free box of gifts. Oh, you get, actually get a free box of Girl Scout cookies if you give blood, too. That's pretty cool. And give some blood. Come give some blood to save a life, people. August 2nd, Monday, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., um, they give a free box of Girl Scout cookies. Um, and if you need to set an appointment, just go to New York Blood Center. 
1-800-933-BLOOD-2566. So guys, if you need to make some copies of anything, you can make some copies of some stuff too. It looks like there's a lot of action, probably a lot of activities. That's one thing about this library, guys. Look at the architecture here. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. So you thought the outside looked awesome. Look at this. It's like a, it's almost like a ship in here. It's pretty cool. Updated mask guidelines. Let's see. Fully vaccinated people may enter the library without a face covering. All unvaccinated library patrons and visitors, including children two and older, must wear face coverings at all times when in the library. Unvaccinated visitors will maintain a maximum, maxim, uh, minimum of six feet of distance between themselves and other persons. No individual should enter the library if they are exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. So there you go, guys. Coming soon, redesigned adult. Oh, yeah, so they're redoing the adult side here. I forgot to tell you that. Um, so they're doing the adult side of it, which is going to be cool. So this is a adult services here for now. Uh, but this is beautiful in here. I wonder who actually designed this library because it is pretty amazing. <clears throat> um, so this is the outside door push to operate. I think we're allowed out here. Yep, let me show you this over here. Brookhaven Review, dedication of outdoor sculpture. Oh, so this is that sculpture I was telling you about. Look at this. This thing is awesome. Science and fantasy. Your courtesy awakens. The noose. Pretty awesome. Look at this. So this is the outdoor of the library here. We got an emergency exit over there. If you're inside and there's an emergency. Another camera recording the public, which is good. And then this is the outside part of the structure, which is pretty cool too. Looks so good. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this bench right here. Pretty cool bench. If you wanna just come and relax and hang out over here at the Center Reeves Library, cool to come grab a book, read a book over here. I'm actually gonna grab my, uh, my book and uh, bring it out here and read it. Let's go back inside. Operate pull. Reading Garden Sculpture, Middle Country Library Foundation. So I guess it was dedicated by the Middle Country Sculpture Foundation, which is pretty cool. Oh, let's press this again. So you got the Board of Trustees, Middle Country Library Board of Trustees. Oh, wow, 1971. I wonder who this building was dedicated by. So Middle Country Library Board of Trustees, Director for... Oh, architect. This is the architect of the building right here, guys. Carl B. Stoll and Associates. Pretty cool. Awesome architect. Go look him up. I'm going to look him up when I get home. So look at this, guys. This is pretty awesome in here. This is awesome. Almost looks like a like a ship sail in here. Hello. Oh, you got your coffee station here. They open. This is open again now. Cool. So this is open again, guys. Now too. So if you need to come get a coffee, I believe uh, it's a dollar fifty per cup, which is good. So if you want to get a cup of coffee and go read a book out in the garden, you do that. Pretty cool. So I know on that side, you got the children's side. I always bring the kids here to do like stuff. Now the camera there, it's good to see that they have cameras. So MCPL under the stars. Oh, they got a concert coming up August 17th. Movie under the stars, September 17th. I wonder a movie to be announced. They don't know the movie yet, I guess. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to the other side where I think they're redoing this side for the adults over here. So this is the side that they're fixing up for us. 
tax money going. So this fixing up this whole side is gonna be the adult side that they're gonna fix up for us. Look at this. Look at this in here. This is pretty cool right here. So this actually have copper in here. Take a picture of that. That is pretty awesome. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. The architecture that, that, that built this place is pretty awesome. Like every single piece of the architecture is pretty cool in here. So that's cool. Yeah, so this whole side they're gonna be doing over for us. And uh they're gonna be I'm gonna try to see if I can get some information on when um this is going to be ready for us. So also if you wanna come return your books, this is where you return your books at. You need to return your books, you just bring it over here. So every book has a scan on it, and you just scan the book in, and that's pretty much it. Return your books, pretty cool. They also, they also have an outdoor drop. Is this where the outdoor drop is outside? Like it comes in from here? Oh no, it's on that no, side, right? Oh, okay, okay. Cool. So this is uh, with the indoor drop, so you also have the drive up if you don't want to come inside for COVID reasons which is pretty cool. And this is the children. This is where I always bring the kids on this side when I come here. And uh, they got a lot of cool things over here too. They got the, oh, the light is off in here. We got this here. And uh, I'm not gonna go on that side because I've really got kids on that side. So I'm gonna go back to adult services here. <clears throat> Um, if we have books on the Constitution. So this is the temporary adult services side over here. Temporary adult services. Hello. Hello, how are you guys? Um, do you know how long um, it's going to be before the adult side is, is done by any chance? A date. Yeah, I know you guys have been working, especially with COVID, it like put it on hold for a while, right? Um, I'm also here to look up some books. Oh, he's on the phone, so you can, you can ask her if you need help. I'll, I'll go after you. Hello, how are you? I'm looking uh, for some books yeah, on the okay. Constitution and the First Amendment, sure. particularly. Okay. Thank you. Um, is the the back garden area here open to everybody too? It's just for children. Just for children. Yeah, that's what I thought. Children. Yeah, I'll bring the kids back another day because I walked on the outside. It's beautiful. I never realized you had that out there. Mm -hmm. And the one over here is pretty awesome too. The yeah, artwork that they have there, it's really it's nice. The, uh, the, nature the what? It's called the Natrix. Oh, the Natrix. I want to say five teenagers, but is there a certain age group for the kids to go back there? Um, it's uh, you know what? I'm not sure. I think it's like maybe twelve and under. Okay. Yeah, my kids. I still have two. I still have two that are under twelve, so I can bring them. <clears throat> So this is the adult side going forward until we get it fixed over there, right? Uh, this is a uh, new item, so large print and new books. And then okay. the inside of the adult department is still open for oh. like a reading area for nonfiction fiction, a little different area, all that fun stuff. Gotcha. Okay. So... Oh, so this is it here actually. So we're doing the whole reading room over too. Guys, if you have children, come here. Center Reach Library is awesome. They have a great children's program here. A lot of activities for them throughout the week. They have movies that they do. Movies under the stars. You guys do the movies under the stars in the parking lot, right? Yeah. 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 There should be um, there's a flyer right behind you about it. And then in the lobby. Yeah. What? The empty yellow. Oh, there it goes. And then in the lobby, I think there's a great um, booth there. So here it goes, guys. This is the movies under the stars. Live concert featuring Southbound. I wonder who that is. 
I don't know, but we'll put it here. Guys, if you want to come, I'll definitely be bringing my kids to the Movies Under the Stars on August the 17th. Also, they also have the mosaic workshops here too. They also have where you can come here and also get CPR training. I think you might have to pay a small fee. I actually have to register mine because my CPR training, I did it over two years ago and I need to recertify myself for the CPR training. You know, when you have kids, guys, you should definitely get some CPR training. Oh, oh thank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, are, are they restarting these CPR trainings here again, too? Do they have to start over there? Hopefully, maybe in fall. I think it's up to the, um, the organization that's running it. They're running it. Oh, uh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And then, okay, so upstairs, all the way to the left, um, and you can take an elevator through there, or you can okay. go to the stairs, but if you go all the way to the left, it's going to be under 323 and 342. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What's your name? Marlena. Thank you. Mar right. Marlene? Marlena. Yep. Marlena, thank you. Yep. Thank you. You too. All right, so let's go look. Uh, I'm not really sure where it's at, so let's go see if we can find somebody in here. Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Do you work here by any chance? I'm looking for 323 or 323.443. Is it fiction or nonfiction? Um, it is um, fiction. Fiction or nonfiction? Not nonfiction, I'm sorry. Yeah. 323? Yeah. Yeah, it's 323 and then 323.443. I think she said it was all the way to the left. I tried to look to. I know you guys used to have the, um, maybe that's another library. They usually have them labeled on here. Yeah, I don't know. This library is odd. Oh, there it goes. But up here is all nonfiction. Okay. So downstairs is all movies, you know, music, non, um, anime, and like fiction cool. and stuff. So everything should be here. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank it you very much. have it, I think, on the other side, actually. Like Three. The, you know, the oh, oh, the other, other one. one. Yeah, I was looking side. for them. I didn't see them. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you. What was your name? Rosie. Rosie. Thank you. I'm Dan. You're welcome, Dan. Daniel? Yes. Thank you. You know what that means, right? What? You know what that means? Daniel? Daniel? No. God is my judge. Ooh. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of heavy. I don't know what you're saying. Yep. <laughs> so 323, guys. Let's see. I got, I got these two so far, human rights in the United States, your dictionary and documents. I'm going to take that home, read a little bit out of there. Civil rights to human rights, Martin Luther King and the struggle for economic justice. I'm going to take that home and read it. But I still need something on the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. So I'm going to go see if I can get some more help on that. Sorry to bother you again. Um, I'm, I'm looking over there for particularly um, uh, a library book on the Bill of Rights and also the Constitution. I couldn't find it over there. I know it might be in a different area. But I found these two. I'm going to read these. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution? Yes. <clears throat> I hope to get it for me. If not, uh, the librarian on the other side of the room might. Okay, cool. Is that 
Um, I was looking for, she gave me the number 323 through 323.443. And then she also, oh, she also put a 342. I didn't realize that one was on here. She said 342.7. Is that the one I gave yes, you? Well, that's, that's what she. The, uh, the other. Oh, the other book? Oh, I'm looking for um, books on the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of the United States. Selden Library by any chance? I'm looking I have it over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work. I'll take any book on the on the Constitution and then anything you have on the Bill of Rights too, I'll take that too. Yes. This might be the section where a lot of them are. Oh, good. Americans, un oh, unwritten constitution, the U.S. Constitution, right there. That it looks like this might be the, the section for it. Section for cool, you. cool, cool. There's a few here. Would the Bill of Rights be over here too, by any chance? Yeah, the first one that I got is for the Bill of Rights. Oh, the three forty-two dot seven. Seventy-three what? Uh, seven three zero three nine. So how do you read them here? Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Seven three zero three nine. Seven three zero three seven three zero six eight. Seven three nine might be up, right? Does it go from high, like lower numbers up top to lower on the bottom? There's no yeah, it's so three thirty eight. It's gonna be an order number, okay. and then it's by last name or you know whatever it's spelled. Okay, gotcha. Or oh, Kelly. Yes. Three zero three nine, but that's yes. Kelly, right? Oh yeah, the Bill of Rights. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I think it's... So that's one. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. And then the one on the U.S. Constitution. The U.S. Constitution. I think this is one here. I think I'll take that one, too. That might be the one that I have. Oh, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a pop up there. All right, so this yeah. might be the correct section for you if you need more. Okay. I can try to help you, but if it's more detailed, the librarian. Will all right, cool. I'm not a librarian. No, it's all good. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So the U.S. Constitution, we'll take this one home too, and a reader. So this is we're gonna take this home too. Oh yeah, I'll read all through that, and then we have the summer of 1787. So the eviction act. Uh, so this is the upstairs of the library. Over here, we almost tripped on that right there. Excuse me. Yeah. So we got our books. So this is the other side. I guess this is like temporary adult services up here too. And I don't know what they do over here, but this is like, oh, this is the business resource center. Miller V Resource Center. Take a picture of that. So let me see what they do here. Hey, how are you, sir? Hi. Um, what do you guys offer over here in this section? Is it like uh, for like business owners if they want to come in and? Business owners, business people, uh, career services, stuff like that. We have a career counselor here. Oh, 
cool. So if somebody wanted to come here and like fill out a application for a job, you all will help them with that? Um, we're not asking, we have a separate career council. So oh, with and that's by like appointment? Yeah. Cool, cool. So we do a lot of like marketing with produce and stuff like that. Oh, that's awesome. So a new business owner, if they want to come here uh, to work on some marketing, right. you guys have people that help them with that. Right. That's pretty awesome. I didn't even, you know, I've lived out here in Santa Reese for so many years, I had no idea you guys had the business center. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm always coming here with the kids on the kids' side. Yeah, exactly. So I said, let me go check out the library today, see what they have to offer. And then I show my, my yeah, people that. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you, RP. What's your name? Gus. Gus, thank you. I'm Dan. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, guys, so this is the business center. So if you want to come to Santa Rita's library, you have a small business and you want to get help with some advertising or whatever it is for your small business, come check out the Miller Business Resource Center here at Santa Rita's library. And uh, Gus will uh, let you know what you need to do. And I think you have to set up an appointment as well. So this is pretty cool. So guys, we got the books. I'm gonna go ahead and check the books out. Yes, I did. Um, the young lady up there helped me. She was pretty awesome. Thank you very much. Yep. All right, guys. So we're gonna check our books out over here now. And uh, I think we gotta check them out over here. So this is pretty cool. So you take the library card. Scanner. the scanner. Oh, just turn it down to our work. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on a minute, please. Go to the ones in the middle. Right? Where? Right over there. Oh, Can cool. Check out? Yep. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. All right. So, guys, those Maybe are not working. Is the name? So, I want to come to the middle one over here. So, this is pretty cool. All you got to do is scan your library card. put your books right on top of it. All right, guys, as I was leaving the library, I seen some police officers headed towards the library. Not, nobody gave me an issue when I was at the library, so I'm gonna go back to make sure that, uh, that they don't say that I was trying to do something I wasn't. And uh, I wanna make sure nobody said that they were calling the cops on me, all the librarians, everybody helped me. So I just wanna make sure that um, you know, they, 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 I'm, I'm sure they, don't, they know that I'm not running, running, for anybody. I'm not running for no cops or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go check it out and see if, uh, and see if they called the cops or anything. If they did, I'm gonna ask them, why did they call the cops? All I was doing is recording. And uh, I wanna make sure that, uh, you know, these people don't come to my house for, for no reason. So if they did call the cops, I'm gonna uh, try to figure out what's going on here. Stay tuned. So guys, it looks like they did call the cops on me. And uh, I'm gonna go check out what's going on here. I wanna make sure they know I'm not running from anybody. Everybody helped me. Didn't give me a problem. Didn't say a word about not recording. Didn't ask me to leave. So, Let's go see what's going on.
Looks like they pulled somebody over over here. Let me go ask the staff what happened. You guys know what happened over there? No. Somebody else called it in. Huh? No, someone else called it in. Oh, somebody, somebody got pulled over, I guess? Maybe, yeah. Oh, wow. Somebody else outside the library called it in. Cool. Let me go see what's going on. You guys didn't call the cops on me because I was recording, right? No, that's oh, okay. No, that's cool. Okay. Hello. How are you? Can I help you? No, I'm fine. Okay. How are you doing? What's your name and badge number? I'm Officer Alexandro, 6318. Alexandro? Alexandro. Alexandro, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Hello. Was that your garbage? Yeah. Okay, cool. How you guys doing? You too. See you later, Sarge. All right, so they didn't call the cops on me, guys. They called the cops on somebody else. Just uh, hanging out in the parking lot over here. Oh, no license plate. I don't know what the heck is going on with that. Cops didn't say anything about me recording. Somebody called the cops on them. That's weird, no license plates. And they're letting them drive off. I wanna know what that's about. It says help. Excuse me. Oh, I just got the flipper from that one over there. It says help me. I was gonna ask them what they needed help with. They need to help with a meal or something. I would have bought a meal for them. But it says help me on the window. It's weird. Super weird. Oh, yeah. 
there. Somebody was just hanging out in the parking lot. That was weird. They had no plates. And I don't know how they let them drive off like that. Hey, Sarge, can I ask you a question? Hey, Sarge, can I ask you a question? Sorry. I noticed they didn't have any plates. They just, what, did they need help with anything? Like, they were just like throwing out garbage or something. That's oh. Like, honestly, the cops were investigating it. Got you. Good. Because I seen on the window it said, help me. I figured they need a meal. I go buy them a meal or something. You yeah, know what no, I'm saying? That would be good. Cool. Thank you. What's your name? Badge number? Sergeant Crowley, 138. 13-8. Thank you, Sergeant. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Yeah, guys. So, looks like somebody was lingering in the parking lot throwing garbage away. Um, guys, if you come to the Center East Library, they have garbages inside, so throw the garbage away inside. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The cops left. They did not encounter me as far as uh, telling me not to record. And uh, I call that a, a pass, guys. That was a great... I came back because I wanted to make sure that they didn't call the cops on me because I was here recording. So just wanted to make sure they didn't call the cops on me. So it wasn't for me, it was for this person hanging out in the back parking lot who flipped the finger to me. Um, I don't know why, I was going to ask them if they needed help with anything. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm out. Fish Fam, 326 audits. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And do me a favor, please hit that bell notification. Bing, bing, bing. So when my videos come up, you can see them, guys. Peace, I'm out. They called the cops on me, and uh, went on here. I want to make sure they know I'm not running, about not recording. They didn't ask me to leave. So they called the cops on me because I was recording, right? Well, they didn't call the cops on me, guys. They called the cops. I don't know what the heck. The cops didn't say anything about me recording. I'm going to drive off. I don't know what that's about question i noticed they didn't have any plates they know it said help me i figured they need a meal i go buy them a meal or something you know what i'm saying so, thank you sergeant have a good day yes sir in the parking lot throwing garbage away guys the cops left they did not encounter pass guys that was a great i came back because i want just wanted to make sure they didn't call the cops on me so it wasn't for me it was for a why i was going to ask them if they needed help with anything 26 audits thank you for tuning in vacation bing 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 so on my video